Harper. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Inez Ferre, who's tracking the oil patch or energy patch for us today. Inez. Yeah, that's right, Akiko. And WTI crude oil, West Texas Intermediate, that settled at $90.16 a barrel. You can see on our Wi-Fi interactive board in after hours, we're seeing that oil is also higher as well. Brent crude at $93.70 per barrel. That's where it settled. I spoke with Andy Lippo of Lippo Oil Associates, asking him where he saw oil headed. He said that for some time, he's thinking that for the near term, you can expect expect prices to be around the $90 range of what we're seeing because he's saying to me, look, Saudi Arabia, OPEC plus, but specifically Saudi Arabia really needs to fund internal projects and they want the price of oil to be higher. And specifically with the unilateral production cuts that they have done, the ones that also uh, Russia has done, that is putting a floor on these prices. It's actually lifting these prices. Is $100 a barrel out of the question. Look, RBC Capital is saying, no, it's not. It's not their base case necessarily for the end of the year, but they are saying that if momentum continues, you could see $100 oil. The question is, how long can the economy sustain this level of oil prices? Because you do see it impacting inflation. You see it impacting uh, consumers because consumers really only have so much disposable income if they have to spend more on things like gasoline, then they're not spending more on other things. So it's only a matter of time before you see the oil, high elevated oil prices really impacting the economy, guys. Yeah, and a number of industries, including uh, the airlines now uh, kind of raising the flag there about higher prices coming as a result of higher oil there. And as for I, thanks so much for that.